right, we're joined now by uh, Dan and Mike from Disturbed. How's it going, guys? Great, good. Oh, man. The, these tours are crazy, especially the festival thing with, uh, you know, the, the itinerary for each day. I know you got to do press and all that stuff. Really appreciate you coming out to our Fox Talk to do this. Awesome. Okay, another way to die. Let's uh, let's talk about that. Uh, I don't think it's a big secret to most people. This band has always been quite socially aware. But listening to that song, uh, the message I kind of take is, is the planet screwed? Are, are things as bleak as it might suggest? Well, I mean, I think it's been going on for a long time. And, yeah. and, I mean, we're not claiming to start waving the flag of Greenpeace. You know, we're just trying to touch on a subject that uh, shouldn't be ignored either. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we all have our flaws and our vices and certain things that uh, uh, can be different. And that's all we're really saying is just trying to raise an awareness on something that if you could maybe change a couple small things in your patterns, yep. it would make a little bit of a difference. Fire that can into the recycling box instead of the garbage. Right. I mean, those small things may help us all in the long run. Standing. Okay. So it's more of a cautionary tale. For sure. I mean, that, that's all it is. You know, like I said, we're not, uh, you know, starting to wave that flag, but we're just, you know, it's a big subject. It's something that as we get older, and more mature, and we're having families ourselves, and we have, you know, three of us have kids and stuff. We want to, you know, make sure that our planet is going to be here for our kids to grow up and raise their kids. And, you know, so just, uh, you know, just trying to touch on it, an important subject. Okay. Fox presents the Uproar Festival. Dan and Mike from Disturbed joining us. Uh, it's going on right now inside the Coliseum. Uh, guys, four straight albums debuting at number one. Is my information correct? It is correct, and it's pretty, <laughs> Congratulations. pretty crazy. Wow. So with the massive album sales, uh, do you think the messages are getting through? The messages like on Another Way to Die and, and previous records? Um, you know, everybody's going to have their opinions and, and pick their favorites and stuff so um, you know that that's the, the beauty of it you know we've been very fortunate that we've written songs that are because they're true and they're from the heart and they're real life experiences that the fans can connect with it they've also either feel a similar way or have uh, experienced a similar situation so um, you know, it's great. You know, David doesn't write words that are just filling in the space. Right. Um, he, it's got to be sure. something that he that he means and he feels, and and that's why we're we're lucky that the fans also can connect with that. All right. Uh, Disturbed. Uh, one of those bands I've noticed you're not afraid to get your music out there by you know whatever means. Like I I hear that you're back on the rock band uh, video game. Is it, it this this world that we're living in? It's a very sort of sound by world. Our alternative means of putting the music out there, is that the way to go nowadays? I mean, we've always been, our main thing is to get the music out. So whatever mm -hmm. avenue we can take to get it, our music heard, yeah. uh, you know, it's great. It's another great outlet for, you know, I mean, it, it's, it surprises me when I hear people saying that the first time they heard us was on Rock Band or Guitar yeah. Hero or something, but, you know, it's... You know, a lot of people out there, so it's clear that they don't always go to concerts or they don't always hear us on radio stations or see us on TV. So if, if that's another way to introduce us, uh, you know, to them, then, then great. You know, it's definitely helped a lot of bands uh, be put on the map. Obviously, for bands like Dragon Force, who not many people probably knew about right. until they heard them on Guitar Hero or Rock Band. Do you think you'd ever go the Moby route and like license music commercially in the name of getting it out there? No, I mean we're not gonna we're not gonna sell ourselves out in a way right. of like, you know maybe putting it on a you know it would have to go hand in hand with what this band is about. Mm -hmm. So I mean we definitely like to have it connected with something that, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know that uh, like I said it has to kind of you know go along with what we're all about. Okay, uh, four straight number one records. I mean you probably I read that this tour could last into 2013. 2013? Really? Do you, do you need to tour that much? Sure, if it was up to our manager and everybody else, they, they would have to go even further than 2013. But, um, it must be for the fans then, because with four straight number one albums, I, I don't. I, it doesn't seem like the music needs any kind of shove to be to be bought or to be consumed by people. You know what I mean? This has got to be for the fans. Well, we love the tour. Yeah, it, we love to be out there and we love to perform for the fans. Yeah. Ultimately, recording is just a, a means of, of getting the music out there so people can hear it, but it's all about us, the, the live performances for us. Okay, all right. 
Uh, you guys are up at 1025 tonight, Pacific Coliseum, Uproar Festival. Can we expect any surprises from Disturbed tonight? Uh, for sure. I mean, anybody that has seen us before in the past 10 years, this is definitely a whole new level for us. Um, visually, you know, production-wise, we're, we're going to a whole new, no, like I said, a new level for it. It's, it's going to be shocking for people that haven't seen it before. I mean, we're still feel like little kids up there just kind of turning around looking at uh, the show that we kind of created. It, it's after 10 years of, of hard touring, um, we didn't want it to become predictable either, you know, so we were, we're trying to create something that make the kids feel like they're getting their, their money's worth. You know, it's a tough economy and it's tough for us to travel and, and put on a show this size, uh, production-wise, but it's pretty impressive too. So I, I think the lineup and the bill and all the bands that are a part of this is, is one of our favorites and one of the biggest bills. And I think they're going to be, the fans will be pleased by what they see in here. I caught a little taste of it on, on your website. Uh, there was a bit of a YouTube clip on there, and I, I'm stoked. I cannot wait for the set later on tonight. Uh, 1025 Pacific Coliseum, Rockport Festival, Fox presenting it. Uh, Dan and Mike from Disturb, thank you so much for doing this, you guys, and uh, continued success, okay? Thanks, appreciate it. Thanks.